Hi everyone. Today we will talk about the fiberglass tape reinforced thermoplastic composite pipe, which means the bonding structure of reinforced thermoplastic pipe design and the related machinery working process in light system. There are six major topics we will go through. At the beginning, I will introduce what are main difference between TCP and RTP, how we design the TCP, and then we will jump to the main fiberglass tape wrapping machine design, brands in the market, how entire line works. At the end, I will point out the drums for the TCP and end fitting design for oil gas industry and high pressure water injection industry. TCP is bonded structure that all three layers are fully bonded with each other. Bonded flexible pipes, the reinforcement material. The RTP pipe reinforcement layer is unbonded structure, which consists of separate unbonded polymeric and metallic layers, which allows relative movement between layers. You can check the picture and the right. The left one is the RTP pipe. It comes up with an adhesive resin to bond each layers. The right hand is TCP pipe. You can see there's no glue between each layer. And they are fully bonded with no adding gaps between each fiberglass tape layer. TCP pipe comes up with three basic layers. An inner layer, thermoplastic layer. A continuous fiberglass reinforcement wrapped around the pipe and an outer thermoplastic layer. The inner layer generally comes up with the PE100. Inner layer can also apply PRT type 1 and uh, PRT type 2, EVOH, etc. When we design the TCP, there are a lot of factors that can impact the entire TCP pressure class. I will share five factors that can impact the TCP performance. The wrapping angle is quite important. It is because it can impact the hoop stress to hoop tensile stress of the TCP. In our experience, the 55 degrees of wrapping angle is the most ideal degree that can perfect balance the hoop stress to hoop tensile stress. Each layer of the fiberglass tape can also impact the entire TCP performance, which means more layers of the fiberglass tape wrapped, higher pressure cuts can be reached. The width and thickness are also important part to impact the entire TCP pressure rating. The chart that I can show you how we design the TCP pipe, I have uh, eliminated some sensitive uh, data and the model calculation. And this data is just to show you how the TCP, how the fiberglass tape impact the entire TCP performance. That means you can use directly to the uh, uh, pipe calculation because there are a lot of other factors that can impact the entire the TCP pressure rating. So uh, I use let's use the same uh, inner diameters right here. And first, we can, we, we're going to notice on the wrapping angle. As I mentioned before, the 55 degree of the wrapping angle is the most ideal, but uh, it's, it's really hard to make exactly 55 degrees. So uh, what our goal is to make this type of the data uh, near the 55, uh, which means now we can about at least above 55 because if the wrapping angle uh, less than 55 and it's gonna be uh, really hard to wrap that angle so we keep the lowest uh, data right here to at least 55 so how can we change the uh, uh, data can impact the wrapping angle so first is the uh, fiberglass tape width so we can see here we use the uh, 145 so we can see if we change 145 to 150 and the uh, wrapping angle changed to 54 degree as I mentioned we, we're gonna keep it at least 55 so we uh, we're gonna decrease the 150 150 to 145 that can make to the 55 point 
statement three. That's the uh, that's okay. So we move to the fiberglass strings. The strings of the fiberglass tape can also impact the pressure class. Generally, we use the 600, and sometimes we can use the uh, 850. That can impact. That can also impact the nominal pressure. You can see if we change the fiberglass strings to higher level and the entire nominal pressure increased it's not hard to imagine that so uh, I will not explain that more the thickness of the fiberglass tape also impact the uh, performance because it's not hard to imagine if the thickness is higher and the pressure cost is higher also so we can so generally the fiberglass tape thickness is 0 0.0 Three five, so we can change to 0 0.04, and we can also see the the pressure class right here increase a little bit. The fiberglass tape layer is the most important part. Wrapping more layers of the fiberglass tape can significantly impact the entire fiberglass TCP performance. So here we can see we wrapped it two layers and the pressure cost is 2.5 around 2.6 and if we uh, six layers, eight layers and uh, even 14 layers the pressure cost increased and the inner layer thickness is also the the point can impact is also the point that can impact some of the nominal pressure when we design the tcp and we enter all data we need to go back to check the wrapping angle whether it's the most ideal as i mentioned we're gonna keep keep this data near the 55 degrees so uh, we can let me try one bit oh that that's increase 155 and 160 see we keep the wrapping angle near the 55 degrees so we adjust the fiberglass tape width and then we check the thickness whether it meets our target nominal pressure if not we can increase the fiberglass tape thickness and uh, increase the layers if we wrap 20 layers right and so you can see the nominal pressure increased but here's the point the inner layer thickness is not the it's not the same that's gonna change based upon the experience and uh, based upon the entire design so uh, we have another chart to uh, check the inner layer thing is how it is how, how we use this data to make the uh, nominal pressure more accurate so this is the very basic design of the fiberglass tcp as i mentioned this this data is just for show it's just to show you how the fiberglass tape impact entire tcp performance it's uh, there are some other like there are some other significant factors still impact entire pipe design so for the next video, I will show you how the TCP wrapping machine works and what are brands in the market. So thank you for watching the video and uh, see you later.